Hello, and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Thanks so much for stopping by, everyone. And today I'm excited to be here to share a package that I received from Amy Love here on YouTube. I'm really excited about it. It has actually been sitting in my craft room for a couple of days. And I told myself I had to finish the project that was on my desk and clean it off so that you guys could have a clean work surface so that you could see everything. And um, Amy Love and I decided to do a doily swap, a doily book swap, um, doily album swap. I think some people call them doily albums. And a Christmas themed one. And so Amy did send hers to me a little bit early. I'm not quite done with, finished with hers, but I'm getting close. And so I did decide to go ahead and open this up today because um, I'm really excited and my desk is clean. So um, Amy did send me a really lovely card, which I already read off camera. So thank you for that, Amy. I haven't looked inside yet, but she did send this. And I'm sure the doily book's in here, and it probably feels like there might be a couple other things in here. And I don't know if Amy made this, but if she did, she did a wonderful job of sewing this bag together. Um, it's obviously handmade, but it's beautiful, and it has this lovely little shabby chic boot. It's kind of vintage, and it looks like a Christmas ornament on it with all the little florals coming out from it. It's just beautiful, so thank you so much for that. If you did make it, I can't believe it. It's just very, very nice, and my sewing skills aren't even close to yours. I mean, that's just an awesome bag. Yeah, and the bag is packed. She really packed, packed it. So I'm assuming that this is probably the doily book. And then she sent a lot of fun other little extras here, it looks like. So I'll maybe save the doily book the best, the grand finale for the end. So I'm just going to set that aside. And we'll maybe just do, we'll do smallest to largest here. So this is really cute. Looks like she made this too, a little um, envelope or pouch. Decorated it really cute with a little tag, Christmas tag and a bow. Oh, and then you guys got to look at this little charm. Oh, these are really cute, Amy, the little baby deer. Oh, that's really cute. I haven't seen those before. So there's the tag again up close. That is so cute. And she sewed her bag, which is really nice. Oh, and she included some Christmas, Christmas tea. How fun is that? Oh, and then this bag is even like double pocketed. There's like two pockets in, there's like a pocket in there. That's cute. Christmas in Paris. Oh, so there's peppermint and lavender and chocolate in there. Ooh, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Can't wait to try that. Really cute. So the next item looks like a little vintage um, linen here. And then she put this really cute bling wreath on it or pin. Yeah, it's a pin. That's really nice. Look at that. Really pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. This is like one of those little pokey tools. How pretty is that? It's like on a long needle. And... Oh, and she has, oh, how pretty is that? With the, there's a little confetti in there, a um, little star confetti, and the bling. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I love that. That is so pretty. And then she included a little wine cork to put it in. I'm going to set that on my desk. Thank you so much. That is so pretty. I love it.
Amy's always so good about packaging. That's so cute just to use like a little vintage linen and a little pen to close that up. Thank you so much, Amy. This is really cute, this bag. I don't know, did you do this, Amy, with uh, the ribbon embroidery on it? I think that's what that's called. It's so pretty. And then I believe she made these little snippets here. Um, and she printed a digital on material and sewed around it. And then she added the cute little bow with the pearl in the middle of it. Let's see if I can take that off. Isn't that cute? And there's the bag. I love that bag. More goodies inside. Oh, how cute is this? Okay. Like I said, she's so good at packaging. So, you know, instead of just putting something in a jar, then she added a little ribbon and a bow on it. And she included glass glitter, which I love glass glitter. And I was actually almost out of this. So this is very helpful, Amy. Thank you so much. And then here's some little small little baubles in there and I think these would be perfect in like a shaker card. They're so cute. They kind of have a little bit of a rainbow colors to them. Hopefully, I don't know if you can, can see that on the camera or not. Thank you. Now I'm going to have to make a shaker card. Then the last one, it looks like she included some really fun beads and I think these are going to be perfect. I'm wanting to, or I'm slowly starting to work on like a boho type theme journal and I'll definitely be able to use these in that. There's so many bright colors like to make a boho, be some boho beads or um, just even sewing them onto a page. So thank you. And then she also included the cute little little spoon which you can know you could use these actually for you know as you're scooping out your little glitters and stuff but you could also decorate this up really cutely and then add it to like a card or something so thank you it's a little embellishment so cute so generous of you with all these extras Amy oh isn't this pretty she decorated a clothespin with some flowers and there's some lace on that one and a little bit of bling. So cute. Like I said, so great at packaging with that on the top and then oh this is beautiful. This little lace piece, maybe part of an applique or something. It's a nice little gold vintage color. I love it. So pretty. Oh, and this is cute. She has a little button card with some shabby chic pink buttons on there. Isn't that cute? So isn't this pretty? A little bit of a little lace holder and then she has some really light pink, baby pink color. It's even lighter than baby pink lace. And then she has a little gourd pin or a bulb pin and she attached a really nice piece of bling on that. So cute. And another one of these. I really love these, Amy. This applique. You're going to have to let me know where you got these. This is really pretty. And she included some, some more lace. This is kind of an insert lace where you add another trim inside of it. Really pretty. Thank you. It's eyelet lace that, like I said, you insert another piece of ribbon in that one. Thank you so much. And this is pretty too. She has some pink ribbon trim with the snowflake on it. I love it. Ooh, and a snippet. Oh, this is... Oh, I love this idea. She covered her her clip with ribbon on it. That's really smart, Amy. What a good idea. 
Isn't that pretty? I think she, Amy has a video on this on her channel, which if I didn't say it already, I definitely will link Amy's channel down below in the description box if you guys open that up. Um, but she has a couple layers of laces on this snippet and some bling. Some really pretty applique pieces in the flower. Isn't that pretty? So exciting. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow, this is beautiful trim, Amy. I can't believe you're sharing some of it. Wow, it has like... You know, if you hold it this way, it looks one way, but if you hold it the other way, it looks like hearts. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Probably going to put this in the hoard pile for a while, I think. This is so pretty, and it's vintage, and oh, it's just kind of exquisite looking. I love that, and it matches these, these very nicely. So pretty. Oh, I'm definitely going to hoard that. <laughs> Now for the exciting part that I've just been itching to open up since I opened up that bag is the doily book. And again, she has a really nice little snippet cluster here. You know, another My Porch Print digital added onto material that she printed off with a little bow and then a cute little heart with lace on it. And this has Oh Holy Night. Oh, I love the bird on there. A little um, image printed on material. And then a vintage piece. It's cute. Love it. Thank you so much, Amy. And then she wrapped it in linen. <sighs> Look at that. Wow. You guys are just going to have to give me a second to look here. Wow. So it looks like she used a ring to hold hers together. Okay. So pretty. Oh, I love it. There's just so many details. She has some tassels, she has a charm, she has a little bell on there. Some bling, some buttons. Oh, this is so pretty. Lots of wonderful textures of different textiles of different laces and trims. And there's applique pieces. I see little pieces picking, sticking out all over. There's doilies, eyelash trim. And those have bells on them too. A little pearl applique. Oh, and then she used some of this, that gorgeous trim that she gifted me too. Oh, I love it. So pretty. And a little angel image in the middle. And the cross. See all the wonderful layers on the inside and then the back. She has one of those layers of one of these that she gifted me. You can see that underneath the little pearl applique. That's so pretty. And the different layers of lace and tulle. And this is really pretty to trim too. I haven't seen that one before anywhere more charms and tassels and bells. Oh, I love it. So many lovely layers. Oh, it's gorgeous. She has it tied shut here. So pretty. Oh, I just can't stop looking at it. I'm sure you guys are anxious to look at the inside. 
Whew. Definitely be looking at this some more once I get off camera. This is so pretty, Amy. There's just so many fun details. I just, hopefully you guys can see it all on camera here. Um, appliques, and she has a cute little, sand, you know, almost a miniature tag of the one that we saw earlier and the cute little reindeer, the pink reindeer or deer on it. And the bling and layers of doilies and the flowers and all the dangles that she has on here, tool layers. And then it's a pocket one, so there's a pocket right here and it says comfort and joy. So pretty. And then, oh, this is cute. It's like little tags with numbers on it. So if you wanted to make like a little advent calendar for Christmas. Or if I were to make a December daily, I could use these in that too. How cute! And then she put it on a little ring with some fun little tool on fiber on that. Oh, so cute. Oh, I just love it, Amy. I'm going to hold that up close so you guys can kind of see the detail. Isn't that pretty? And this page is just as stunning. She has that same image that was on the bag with the little boot and looks like some vintage trim or bling right here. Some more bells on a gourd pin and there's pearls and buttons and a really nice Christmas red applique and pink. Oh, I love this pink one in the background. That trim's really pretty in gold. So pretty. And I love the little vintage piece. I presume that's vintage. It looks vintage. And then also just the other little details where she added little gems and um, rhinestones to some of the some of the dangles that she added. So it's kind of spread throughout. And here's little clay flowers. So lots of fun little details that. I'm sure every time I look at it, I'm going to pick out more details that I probably forgot to even show you guys. So pretty. I love it. Oh. So here's the next page. So I'll just kind of set it there for a second for you guys to look at. And then, well, I look at it too, and then I'll hold it up. But so many fun images, you know, a different image on each page. She has a little Christmas tree and she added stickles to it. You know, more, f there's a loopy flowers, another charm, snowflake charm, another cute little tag, some more flowers, some more bling. Oh, that's nice bling. Some chain, some more buttons, some wedding appliques or trim from an app wedding. You know, there's some white and gold appliques in the background. You can see the doily back there. Another gorgeous, gorgeous page. And then here's kind of a shabby chic vintage looking one. Again, just so pretty. She has more bells and I, this is a really cute image with the stocking on it flowers and this nice pink trim or an applique that she cut up around it. Some pink trim in the background. Then she has this really nice, I don't know if it's going to show up, along with a kind of tool type trim, there's kind of this, I don't even know what kind of trim you call it, but there's little sequins on it. I don't think that's going to show up very well on the camera, but it's, what a fun little fiber. You know, it reminds me of eyelash trim, but it's not eyelash trim. I don't know if that's part of the this other trim that she used here or if that's separate, but so pretty. Maybe you can kind of see it now, some of the sequins on that. And then the she added some bling on that page too, and there's pearls. So many beautiful details. Oh. Like I said, I'm sure I'm missing a, a lot of them when I'm pointing things out, but 
What a fun page. Wow. She has another cute one of those little reindeer deer charms and a bell on it. Some more gorgeous bling. And then this is a pretty applique, this gold one. And more red for Christmas. Another beautiful image with and then there's some more applique pieces or cut up pieces up there and a beautiful bow. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can see this. This trim is gorgeous too. This one right here. That is so pretty. That's beautiful trim. Oh, I just love it, Amy. And then it looks like she chose to do a pocket page for the last page. Oh, and this is really sweet. She has a little angel that she made out of, I'm presuming, out of some vintage Battenberg-type linen. And little wings on it and the little heart. Oh, that is precious. Oh, and it's a pin so I could take it off. Oh, I love that. If you made that, Amy, you should do a tutorial on that because that is just sweet. And um, I have a mom who loves angels and a mother-in-law who also collects angels. So that would be a nice tutorial if you did make that one. To, I would love to learn how to make that. Oh, and I love this trim right here, too. And then the beautiful little bling pieces. Oh, just so many fun layers of trim. She has so many trims. Oh, and then that another cute, that gold applique. And then the, more of the gold cut-up applique behind there. So pretty. And another little um, tag or snippet piece that she made with all sorts of fun details and pearls. And she hand stitched this one. Let's see if you guys can see the. Oh, I just love it, Amy. Thank you so much. So, so gorgeous. And I did show you guys the back earlier, so um, and there was some eyelash trim. I don't think I pointed that out with some bling in it from before, but isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it, Amy. This is just beautiful. I'm definitely going to be cherishing this. It's probably going to go... I think front and center on my coffee table. So if we do have any company, everybody will be able to, to look at your beautiful work. So, so pretty. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. I'm going to probably turn the camera off after I say goodbye to everyone and I'm going to look through it again because like I said, there's just so many details. Thanks again, everybody, so much for watching today. Hopefully you were as inspired as I was by Amy Love's doily book. I just, this is just so gorgeous, Amy. I just, oh, I'm just so thrilled with it, and it's so beautiful, and um, hopefully you'll like the one that I'm sending you to, so, um, but I know I'm going to be cherishing this, and like I said, this holiday season, it's going to take front and front and center on my coffee table so that everybody can see it when they come into the house, because... This definitely needs to be seen by lots of people. It's so gorgeous. And thank you so much for all the extras. It's very, very nice of you to share some of your stash with me and all the extra little things that you made. I definitely will cherish. So again, if you guys um, haven't checked out Amy's channel before, she is Amy Love here on YouTube and I do have a link um, to her channel listed below in the description box. So if you open up the description box, you can easily find um, her channel that way. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.